What's up YouTube? Sky, that one guy here. And today we're going to be opening up the 2005 Panther Warrior tin. This is a very old tin. Uh, this is from the same seller that I bought the other ones from. The wrapper did get pretty messed up. As you can see, it has some uh, sticker here where they put a price tag on it. But um, uh, everything I've gotten from this seller so far has been good. All the packs inside have been uh, good. We've been pulling hollows and everything, so I know it's, it's uh, legit. So... Um, before we open this, I do want to say I'm doing another round of the one free booster pack giveaway. So for those of you in the U.S., to enter this giveaway, just like this video, comment, and subscribe. And if you do those three things, you're automatically entered. And I'll choose at least one winner, um, to pick one of these packs. And I also have Infinity Chasers, if you want to choose that pack. So enough about that. Let's open up this 2005 Panther Warrior 10. So let's get this, uh, wrapping off of here. I can get it off. It's actually on there pretty good. There we go. Okay, so I didn't even look at that. What does that say? Collect all uh, one of six exclusive cards, five booster packs, and a pocket guide. Okay. Pretty good looking tin. S surprised it actually looks like it's in really good condition. And uh, yeah, pretty excited to open this. Uh, we'll get to the packs in a second. But yeah, that looks great. All right, here we go. And there it is, Panther Warrior. Awesome looking promo. Let's get that out of there. Pretty cool. I'm going to keep this in this uh, wrapper for now, whatever you want to call it. Keep that there for now. And let's take a quick look at this. I thought these are always pretty cool. It's got like some set lists, some popular cards you might want from those sets. Um... Yeah, pretty cool. Shonen Jump. I wish they still did Shonen Jump. Alright, so that's pretty cool, guys. Enough with that. Let's get right into the packs. So we have five packs to open. We have Dark Beginning 1. Dark Revelation, Volume 1. Soul of the Duelist. Rise of Destiny and Flaming Eternity. So five awesome packs to open up. And let's lay them out here. And we're going to go right to left. So enough about that tin. Pretty cool. And let's set that over there. We're going to start at Dark Beginning 1. So our main goal for this video is to pull one holographic card. So let's see if we can do it. Again, 2005 is when this uh, tin was first released. Um, yeah, definitely nice to open these old, old packs. Some great nostalgia here. Alright, so let's get right into it. And the tip card is number 10 of 50. Equip spell cards. Pretty cool. Then we have Hitotsu Mi Giants. And again, this is, a, I think, yeah, this is a 13 card pack, so a lot of commons in here. Harpy's Brother, Toon Mermaid, Jinzo number 7, Griggle, Shining Abyss. Oh, and we already got our first hollow. Awesome. So we already hit the goal of the video, and we did it in Dark Beginning. Dark Beginning 1, Ceasefire Super Rare. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. That is a great hollow. I am definitely happy with that. We are already at the goal of the video. So, Infinite Dismissal, Shadow of Eyes, Insect Barrier, Reign of Mercy, Chosen One, and that's it for that pack. Alright, so one hollow already. We are looking good. Pretty excited. I can't believe we already got it, and it was in the Dark Beginning 1 pack. That's actually really cool. So, let's try Dark Revelation Volume 1 and see if we can get lucky there as well. This is another 13 card pack. Ages 6 plus. Hmm. 50 player tip cards. Pretty cool. Alright. 13 cards per pack. Let's see we can, what we can get. So another tip card. This one is backwards. Reuse your cards. Number 43 of 50. Dark Bishop Archfiend. Magical Plant. 
Mandragola, Charm of Shopti, Desferalamp, Helping Robo, Master Kianshi, and the rare is Barrel Behind the Door. So we didn't get a hollow there, but that's all right. Meteor Rain, Narrow Pass, Megaton, Spell Reproduction, and White Dragon Ritual. So that's all right. Like I said, the goal is to just get one hollow. So we already hit that goal. I'm definitely happy, but let's see if we can uh, get another one. So these are the uh, packs that you can get ultimate rares out of, and that would be amazing. So let's see if we can do it. Soul of the Duelist. Uh, I think this is the Horus the Black Flame Dragon set, if I remember right. Okay, definitely nostalgic packs here. I remember um, I was definitely playing around the time of all three of these sets. Uh, I was just a kid, but uh, I remember going to the pre-releases and all that stuff. So definitely some good nostalgia opening these. So Soul of the Duelist, let's see if it can give me something good. Level Up, Hadehane, Mind Crush, pretty crazy there. Uh, they, they changed a... Uh, they added some changes to the rules, and it made this card not so good anymore. Anyways, Nobleman Eater Bug. And we hit another Hollow Ectoplasma. Awesome. So again, another super rare. So nothing too crazy, but still very happy with that pull. That card looks awesome. Okay, Ectoplasma. Awesome. Scoot this stuff over. Sorry, arms in the way. Let's get that on the table, and we'll get sleeves on those cards right after this video. Mass Dragon, Neo Aqua, Absolute End, and Ultimate Baseball Kid. So we are definitely doing really, really good. Two hollows already. Usually just getting one hollow is a bonus from these. So let's see if we can keep that going. Maybe this is just a really lucky 10. Rise of Destiny. The Creator Set. That's the uh, cover card. Pretty cool set. Nothing too crazy. I don't think anybody... Uh, I don't think this was the most popular set, but still a cool set. I definitely enjoy it. All right. Mine Haxers. Raging Flame Sprite. Spell Purification. Mighty Guard. And the rare is Necklace of Command. So no hollow there, but that's all right. So Element Saurus. Uh, Furin Kazan. Pitch Black Warwolf. And Moki Moki King. Definitely some cool cards in there. All right, you guys. So again, this was the 2005 Flaming, or sorry, not <laughs> 2005 Panther Warrior 10, and we have the last pack is Flaming Eternity. So let's let's see if we can get something good on this very last pack. Awesome pack with the Upper Deck Entertainment logo on it. Um, Sacred Phoenix of Nep Nephthys, I think, is the uh, cover card. All right, let's see if we can somehow manage to get a third hollow and end this video strong. That would be so cool, but uh, you know, we already got two, so I won't be too greedy. So let's see if we can end it strong. Here we go, guys, last pack. Abari Ashani, Elemental Burst, Element Valkyrie, Beast Soul Swap, and penalty game. So we didn't get another holo, but that's all right. We definitely did good on the other packs. So penalty game, poison fangs, divine dragon, earth hex sealed fusion, and element doom. So we got three rares and two hollows. Definitely an amazing 10 in my opinion. Just getting one holo on those is really good. So we got super rare ceasefire and super rare ectoplasma. Definitely two amazing pulls. One of them from Dark Beginning One, and the other from um, is it Soul Soul of the Duelist. Yeah, Soul of the Duelist. Sorry, mind mind blanked for a second there. Um, but yeah, so again, we're doing the uh, free booster pack giveaway. So if you want to join that, just like this video, comment, and subscribe, and I'll get that winner chosen soon. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about this tin, and let me know if you want to see more because I have. I have a few more that I might open, but those ones, uh, the wrap, the wrappers was more intact. So I wasn't sure if I was going to open those, but if you guys liked it, I'll go ahead and do it. So just let me know in the comments and, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I hope you have a great day.